Ghetto Garage, Wildcard Custom, Paint, Paint, Wild Eyed Northern Boy. Um, this is what I did today. I took this um, tripod that I don't ever use and I bought a piece of pipe and bought one of these lights because I seen James Freddy he uses a light, not a fluorescent light, to, um, when he wet sands. And I bought it for like $15. Yeah, I already had to bring it back because it didn't work. Lovely. This is what I like. Listen, listen to them. Listen to the natives. Yeah, welcome to the natives. Distributed by, but made in China. And that's where they could buy it, Lois. Anyway. Actually, I'm going to start wet sanding tomorrow on this. Because, um, I didn't get around to it today. Intake's done. That's the reflection. See that dimple right there? That's where the other Yahoo bef that owned it fucking went way too low when he made clearance for his hood you can see those three marks are gone they were right there I think they're right I don't know right in there somewhere okay you know um, America's so broke because people don't budget their money because the government uh, gives fucking bailouts all the time to the big three. So the economy is booming again, my ass. Look what I got in the mail today. Ooh. Fucking zero promotional cash advance fee. Okay, and just send me some motherfucking checks. Yeah. Okay. Look at the fucking interest rate. 23.99 now if I lent somebody 75 bucks and I wanted a hundred back um, they could consider that loan fucking sharking but anyway um this is what I made today too these are some generic ones and when you push them together they always twist you know what I mean because they're so long so I made um well, some little L brackets on it. And I made some of these. I don't know. They're like a duckbill. Yeah, duckbill ones. And then you got these, which are Peterson or whatever, vice grip. They kind of round off when they get old. So what I did is do the same thing. Well, some more metal up on there. I got this idea from San, San, Sanchez check or something. Um, when you do a dent puller, you know, I wouldn't do it. You know, you ever notice if you make a tool, you don't, you don't make it out of a junk tool. You make it out of something that's made in the USA. You know what I mean? Otherwise, you know, if you're at like a yard sale or flea market, you don't even be looking at the junk tools, do you? Because I know I don't. Anyway, um. I found this at a yard sale, and I know this is old, this little vise, it, it's small and it's, it's rickety and, you know, but look at the brand, I don't know how old it is, but I bet you it's been around for a long goddamn time, anyway, I made some other things too, I, made, I got these from Sanchez too with the idea, um, little copper things, I took a, um, on this big one, I took a back of a speaker magnet, and I heard from somewhere that the ones they sell in Eastwood are kind of junky, because you can't, you can't hang them upside down, 
that's pretty thick on um, copper and I can hang mine upside down and this is what I did because I like things that are damn I like things that are made in America myself that's just my opinion Wow, oh, why, why did it just why did it flip like that? Made the USA Gal Garage. Yeah. Come on. So I think that'll work out pretty good. That's what I spent all day working on. And I made a smaller one too. I had to bend this little bracket right here. And I, this right here, I don't know how thick it is. Um, I might break. Anyway, I made a smaller one too. This is like a copper pipe fitting you can see the threads right there so I can use it smaller places so after I bent this because that's the biggest stuff I bent on my press break so I thought I want to see how big I can get actually I could get bigger in here but I can't clamp the beast down I get some light up on this mother that would be what 13 gauge pretty good you know and uh, I really don't think um, could be wrong but I don't really think if this was a, a Taiwan Hong Kong fully Japan um, um, funk donk I don't think you could um goodness it's just my opinion doesn't mean it's right doesn't mean it's wrong oh I was not looking at this today too This is the center section I cut out of that hood on my S10, part of the Mustang. I believe it's uh, seven inches I had to hack out. Tomorrow, I'm gonna see. This is how things get done. You gotta get dirty. This all gets done. It doesn't magically get done all by itself. Um, oh, I, we bought a lawnmower from the neighbor because it had a bagger on it, and it's um, it's gear driven. It's uh, I don't know, it's Toro. There it is, right there. Anyway, you push this little thing in the front wheels. It's self-propelled, not self-propelled, but it just drives you, you know, it just pulls you along. Okay, bought it for 50 bucks, he wanted 75, because he's older and he can't start it, because he's old. He just brought, uh, he just brought the Toro 22 5.0 horse, this is what he paid for it. $317 and 529.02. My point is, is hell getting old. And he sold it because uh, he needed electric start. I hope I don't ever get that old. I have to need electric start. Uh, what else I got to say? I ain't really got to say nothing. Um, oh, this is why I'm fucking into American Maine. My dad, he got 32 years in a factory. Used to be steel power. In Dana Corporation, Dana Runs. Okay, so you probably used to make uh, speed pole rings. Okay, you've been there 32 years. Yeah, I said that. Um, and then Dana bought them out. Okay, and I tell you about oh, I don't know, three years ago, before my dad, my dad retired. That was good. He got the fuck out of there. They filed bankruptcy. Okay, they tore the building down. And my dad lost forty-one thousand fucking dollars because they filed bankrupt. Okay, that's beautiful. 
Then they moved to China and built the fucking factory back up. Now it's shipping across seas. Uh huh. The government should not fucking allow that. And that's the free trade fucking bullshit. Cutting blue collar workers' throats. That's the words of fucking wisdom. You know, if you buy it in America, it's a good chance it'll last longer. And if it's made with these in your own motherfucking garage, quality. American ingenuity at its fucking finest. Why is it a certain nationality gets to own all the fucking gas stations and liquor stores and, oh, I'm sorry, hair care fucking products? I ain't against that nationality, but motherfucker, give me a little gas station. Anyway, I'm be positive. Um, piece of mind, piece of property, piece of oneself, piece of pussy, piece of something, motherfucker. Oh, you know them credit card, the motherfucking little uh, checks just write to fucking get what you want to get. I want to, I want a garage so fucking bad I can taste it, but I don't go get it on these motherfucking. That's how people get broke. You gotta watch what you do. I'm gonna get mine. Might take some time. It's always best to do it the right way compared to the wrong way.